Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the new Let's Play on Total War Three Kingdoms. We're going to be playing the Eight Princes today, and let's get right into it. So the Eight Princes, a generation since Three Kingdoms period has ended, and the Jin Dynasty stands on the brink of chaos. As one of them, the, vying, uh, the Eight of Warring Princes carve your way through your enemies, defending the Empire against dark treason or depose him, and stabilize the dynasty under your rule. So as you can see, the main eight characters are here, including the big bitch herself, who is, uh, I believe, Emperor Shia? I can't remember her name. But we've got loads of characters to play. Sima Yong, Sima Jiang, Jiang uh, Sima Ai, Sima Ying, Sima Yue, Sima Lun, Sima Wei, and Sima Liang, Liang. All of them are interesting, but I've chosen to play as a uh, Sima Jiang. Uh, you know, it, it looks like I'm playing one of the easier ones, but I'm not. He's a... Uh, Authority is not You'll inherited, see. it is earned. Sir Ma Jiong has suffered great indignities at the hands of the Jin Emperors. Yet despite it all, he has forged a place of power within the turmoil. His farmer, Sima Yu, was qua so qualified that many believed he should be heir. As a result, he was jealously exiled from the capital by the Emperor. Since then, Sima Xiong has carved a position of relative strength and watches Lu Yang with a burning desire to correct the injustices of the past. So his playstyle is control, and that's what made me want to play him before I knew what his actual difficulty was. Um, his difficulty doesn't really mean shit to me. As far as I'm concerned, I'm more interested in the playstyle. Uh, so he's his, his, his centralized government. Uh, control increases noble support and decreases corruption. Faction leader and military successes generates control. Control is lost by assigning ministers through the military and through military blunders. And removing opposition in court will generate control. We get Captain Renu, so he works a little bit like uh, Yuan Shao. Uh, our special units are key guardsmen, uh, which are pole arm infantry, and key crossbowmen. We also have the special bu building judiciary and uh, micromanaged commandery, which is administrative mis administration assignment. So, uh, Wang Bao, Bao, Bao is our uh, Bao, I believe that is, is our side guy. And let's, uh, I've not even, I've only loaded up to this screen to look at the characters. Um, so the options will be, we'll play on hard, hard this time. I, I'm not really interested in playing too hard, just because just I can't be bothered. Um, so let's do it. China needs a regent. There is a head to every family. But does this give them the right to lead? Should a good leader seek peace? Or opportunity? They order us into battle? Or do we follow them? Do they serve the people? Or themselves? answer is simple they do what must be done and so shall I
Emperor Wu is dead. The Jin Dynasty passes to his son, the newly crowned Emperor Hui. While some see him as unfit to lead, others consider him easy to control. With his ability to rule compromised, the Empress Dowager effectively controls the realm, manipulating the fledgling Emperor to her will. Yet this could not last. Within the Imperial family, talk of dissent only grew. The Emperor's wife, Empress Jia, colluded with his kin, Sir Ma Leong and Sir Ma Wei, to overthrow the Empress Dowager. In the aftermath, power shifted to the new regent, Sir Ma Leong. Even then, peace could not hold. The Empress, wary of Sir Ma Leong, plotted once more, convincing Sir Ma Wei to accuse Sir Ma Leong of treason, an edict was issued for his arrest. Sir Ma Wei now draws battle lines against his own blood. The Sir Ma family turns inward. Civil war looms. It is now summer 291 CE, and the eight great Sir Ma princes now look to their own ambitions. Infirm alliances, doomed to break, are forged as each prince strives to free the Emperor from the yoke of the Empress and establish themselves as the rightful regent. A dynasty trembles on the very brink. The Imperial Court is in chaos, Sir Majong, and your royal kin move to war against one another. They spurn me like they spurned my father. This fate is too good for them. Maybe so. But you could bring stability and prove how mistaken they were in overlooking your strength. Sir Masha to the northeast presents a threat to you. Perhaps you should start with him. By proving my strength against him, the Emperor will surely see my ability. Yes. You have strong trade connections and easy access to more. This is an advantageous position, one you can build from. As you say, I will march from here to Liu Yen and save the Emperor from those who would manipulate him. You speak and act with authority, Sir Ma Jiong. China has need of your leadership, now more than ever. Awesome. I'm... Oh, this has just made me, like, whoa. The game's having a, just a momentary lag spike there. There we go. So, yeah, that's... Oh, I'm really interested now. But let's, anyway, let's, let's have a quick look. So, destroy the traitors. The Emperor is beset on all sides. Sima Jiang, as your uh, avaricious kin and the Empress vie for control of his fragile throne, there are few amongst them capable of steering the dynasty. Yet you have this talent. If you are to aid the Emperor, however, the knaves that march in your lands now must be put down. Only once you have demonstrated your strength can you, the, the dynasty be saved by your hand. Take out Sima Shi, this old asshole, and get plus three might alignment and treasury. So the, there is an alignment system. I don't know how completely how it works. We start with the entire commandery over here. Oh, we know we, yeah, we start with an entire commandery and then um, part of Beehive. We gained the Celestial Sphere, Grey Farbred, and a Feather Fan. Reject corruption. So let's have a look at up. You Holy crap, he's in, in some calling. really cool armor. He's in Nature Shield. I shall and of course, our leader uh, wields his uh, unique armor. My lord. Um, How can I so serve? that's pretty cool. And here it is. So Spirit Alignment, Alignment, Cold, Interested, Meek, and Thrifty. So that's what I think that's what we currently are. Um... So, you can keep progressing along these uh, to get bonuses, rewards. As you can see, the bonus rewards there. And they just get better and better, I believe. Uh, again, I didn't look as much as I could have into this, purely because, again, I was more interested in waiting for it to come out. Sima Yong is right there, and Sima Yao. So, let's have a look at our faction summary. 
ultimate victory. Reach the, ra re the rank. Glance washes the land with a golden glow. Reach the rank of victorious prince, then annex or destroy the other major factions. So, emperor and regent. Emperor pisses people off but gives us prestige. Regent pisses off other princes of the prince rank or above, but gives you. Uh, Makes minor princes and other diplo other related people happy with us. So we're currently a minor prince. We could we'll be we will be a uh, what's it called prince soon enough. A normal prince. So we can currently see Sima Wei and Sima Yong, as I said. Uh, so we're currently cold. Um, we've also got obviously the statistics and whatnot, but this is obviously a bit different. It shows you our play styles and whatnot. Um, I believe there's where is it? So currently we we don't have much control, which means that we're obviously certainly we're called we're servile, which means we gain corruption, which means obviously right now we're not we're not it's not the best. Oh no, sorry, no, we're currently accommodating, which means we gain slight amount of corruption. Um, let's have a look at this. So um, every turn the faction leader will generate control, and the min other ministers will decrease it. It is also gained through military feat victories and losing less men than the enemy, and it is lost through military blunders, defeat, and losing more men than the enemy. Control has an impact on noble support, corruption, and it has be, can be spent on powerful assignments. So noble support is now is now what is essentially just public order, but it's obviously slightly different uh, because it's not it's not support. It is essentially the exact same in in some sense. Doesn't look like we have any buildings that increase uh, noble support through there. Interesting. Ah, this building increases noble support. Interesting. Uh, so our army Sir currently consists integrity. of two key guardsmen uh, and then archers, uh, Dao sword guard cavalry. Spear guards and whatnot. Let's have a see what we can recruit. So we can currently recruit in this army only basic units. We could recruit a captain here that comes with obviously a full listing of troops, but it's never going to be as good as having a, like Simazan. Uh, let's have a look at like what we can words, equip our guy with. Then obey them. Uh, so they give him. He does lose expertise, but he is an authority general, so it's okay. He currently does not like the Jin Empire. That makes sense. Um, so there's two accessories: expertise and cunning and satisfaction, which goes. This goes well with diviner. He also has a feather fan. He doesn't really need either, so I'm not going to give him either. Welcome, my lord. Right, I'm going to give this Your guy feather fan for now, just to make him a little bit happier with us. We'll also give him a G, so he, you know he's wielding a weapon made for uh, what he, what he needs. Let's have a look at the core. So currently, we haven't got an advisor. Ah, so wow! If we made him our advisor, minus twenty satisfaction for ever all characters. So it looks like Sima Zan is our best role for advisor. Let's do it. Let's have a look at our family tree. So Sima Zan is our brother. Our children: Sima Chao, Sima Bing, and Sima Ying. There are our three children, and Wang Bao is our uh, general. The Jin Empire is head by Zhang Hua. Who is the, uh, well, just a guy. Ku Cheng, Sima Gan. The population is growing here. Sima Yu and Princess Pei. Sign. Apparently, wow, they're just, okay, they're just related. They are obviously related, but. Uh, Sima Ying, Ai and Wei, or all of Sima Yan. Um, do we not know anyone who's related to Sima Yi? Because I know. Hmm, doesn't look like we are. It doesn't look like we know any of any anybody right now. We can do assignments. Uh, there is obviously the assignment where we can reduce control. I have no interest in doing that. Right now, let's have a look at our main commandery. So what 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 do we what income do we make? Uh, pretty much mostly from commerce. Any trade? Let's get trade first as well. Uh, I'm gonna do quick deal for trade just to see if I can. Uh... Yeah, so let's get. Uh... Ooh, the Jin Empire would be best, but we'll go for Sea Meow. We accept. There we go. We've got our trade, so that's a little bit extra income. Noble support is currently going down because of the people in power. 
We can upgrade this uh, to increase the amount of the noble support, which we will do. Feel uh, that's going to spend basically no all our money. So let's get let's attack Simashi. I believe it was. To battle. Let's have our first battle of the campaign. Quick save and let's get into it. The Emperor must be defended. This is known. Yet the government must be upheld by those with wisdom and authority. In this way, I may yet help. Although my father fell from Imperial grace, there is much I can do to restore his name and prove my own worth. Damn right there is Sima Zhong. Zhong, I believe it is. I can't actually... I'm not very good with Chinese names. I do apologize. So let's have a look at our men. Our men are yellow. Uh, I was expecting our men to be black because of the... Uh, because of how much black is on our flag. But I'm really... I'm okay with yellow. This yellow is actually quite nice. So these are our, one of our main units. Like one of our main uh, like uh, faction units. They look pretty cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to our other unit as well, the uh, archers. I'm gonna keep. Our, I'm gonna get our men in. A, I'll put our leader in a melee cav unit there. I'm gonna give these guys a. Just give them there. Get them there. Ooh, we can um, what already use flaming shot. Then yes, please. Get them to there. March you guys to there. Let's have a look at our leader. There he is, Sima Xiong, our uh, great leader. He has the stone bulwark uh, ability, and this guy has hamstring. That's great. Um, I do wish I could give this guy some better weaponry. Same with my leader, to be honest. So these are also special cavalry. Uh, like I don't know. I think they're just like uh, like researchable cavalry because they're not a faction specific, but they are not your typical swordsman ca sword cav. So what type of archers does he have? Archer militia as well with a two range of 200. So we have both have the same range. To attention, Let's just get ourselves up to about ooh, there. Give you guys to about here. Right, here we go. So look at our men just marching. Beautiful men. Beautiful. They're uh, moving because of my cavalry. And obviously my uh, uh, Sima Jiong himself. Prepare. Wang Bao. Obviously, unfortunately, there's, there's not going to be any duels. Because Sima Shi is a, a non-dueling character. He's a strategist. I speed this up a little bit purely because obviously I'm, because I'm, uh, I'm trying to walk my men. Right. Get going. I don't know why my cavalry keeps swapping sides. Group two, kill them. As much fun as it would be to set their saving militia on fire, let's be smart about this. Let's get rid of their archers. Because archers can't go loose. So killing off their archers is going to be far simpler than killing off everything else. Our lines are marching pretty well. Uh, spear guard is not really the best unit for uh, charging, but they'll work. Super young. He's charging into fucking spear militia. Uh, sorry, G militia. Sorry, not G militia. Key guardsmen. It feels very weird to have my for my units to be super ineffective right now, but it, that's just how it is. Sima Jiang, go kill Sima Shi. There we go. Keep going. Oh, I thought he was dead then. 
holy crap, like these weapons are way more effective at stabbing people. Enemy general is vulnerable. Holy shit. They were no match. Talk about effective. The time has come. Where's my other cavalry? There it is. Good, there we go. Hamstring the air, hamstring the men. Perfect. So that's a great first battle. We lost a hundred or so men, maybe less. Archers. You're going to kill more of our own men than them. Perfect. That's a complete and utter destruction of their force. Exactly as it should be. I'm liking the uh, new like units and whatnot. Just, just having different characters it makes it more than enough, like more than enough for it to be fun, enjoyable. <laughs> Holy crap! Justice that's nice. cannot be denied. I hunt ten control from that. Uh, we will ransom because right now we don't need any more enough. men and destroy the traitors. Sima Shi has now been uh, taken over. Like Sima Jian has now carried on his uh, thing. The Empress demands that traitors be crushed. The Emperor has decreed Wei Guan and Sima Liang, formerly regents of the realm, are traitors to be and to be arrested. You have been tasked by the Empress with dealing with their nearby ally. Yet how vigorously do you plan to pursue them? In the Eight Princes campaign, the choices you make can influence your alignment in one of the four ways, which in turn can affect what happens at key points in the campaign. So we could build reserves, raid forces, or crush opponents. I'm going to go with crush opposition. Because that seems more like him. Swift aggressive action is required, and so you march. Show your strength. The Empress seems overjoyed at your aggressive determination. Yes, such spirit. I have no doubt you'll be victorious. Take this farm. Well, you're lucky, because that's exactly what I intended to do. Serve right integrity. now. Crush them! In our uh, second battle, I'm pretty sure, of the get map. Yep. I'm going to do this all in one part as well, because I'm awesome. If we are bold and strong, victory will be ours. Well said, my friend. Well said. Sage words, friend. They shall echo through history. Fingers crossed they will echo through history. I mean, we've got to make sure they do. Now, be driven like the hurricane to victory. I like Simi Young's voice actor. It's nice. It's not... It's, it's, it's a good voice actor. It's a good voice for him as well. Like, it, it suits, I'd say. Uh, they could... They're not going to come at me. So I'm going to have to, obviously, you know, extend my lines very well. Are they moving? They are. Well, I may not have to move to them. We'll see. I am going to group up just because I don't want to wait, waste my time waiting this time. They are indeed coming to me. Which means I should return the favor and come to them. March quickly! Quick march! Attend. Prepare. Cavalry. March to there. Go over there. Pull, pull that way. Do not run through the inf You ran through my archers anyway. I'm going to put you as part of the front line this time. I'm going to strike swiftly. I'm going to try and play a bit more aggressive in this match. I, I played too many maps unaggressively. Right. Deal with them. Should not fuck it. Yeah, no. No, fuck it. Take out them. And you don't use normal arrows, for fuck's sake. As much as I like to use special arrows, they don't seem to have as much effect as I'd like. To be fair, we are playing really early games, so we need to remember that. Units that are really good, like, just because, like, just because it's really good in other, like, in late campaign, doesn't mean it's going to be really good now. Yep, Sima Jiong got straight in there, just keeps knock bowling over. Look at that blood everywhere. 
glorious. Deal with, keep dealing with them. The enemy Team is young. I need you to pull back. What Straight into the air. Just in case those archers come back. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, Sima Jiang was like instantly just routed those idiots there. The time has come. Archers, attend. Do not relent. Archers. Shoot at them. There we go. Oh, they came back. Well, I don't mind continuing to deal with you, my friends. The enemy unit flees. What cowards. Oh, good. You've dealt with them. Good. Pull back. It looks like we're going to need you to deal with these other guys. Uh, you. And you. You guys can pull out there. Deal with them. Right, looks like our cavalry will be uh, used to deal with the rest of this. Actually, not you two. We can deal with them. Right, archers. Stop. There we go. Actually, no, it looks like they've got that. Because some, for some reason, my archers were still firing, so... There we go. Another decisive victory. More control for our uh, Sima Xiong. Unfortunately, our spear guards did take a beating, but we got a good amount of kills, and uh, soon enough we'll be able to... We, we can, I'm pretty sure we can instantly upgrade our archers to our key marksmen. I haven't had a look at them yet, but I'm hoping they're decent. Justice cannot be denied. In time, they will Show thank strength. us for this. The faction is not. This faction is no more. It's now leaving. Uh, what do you want? Uh, Shuo Yingmang. Wow, I didn't. See, my way does start with quite a few ally uh, people underneath him, which is pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, we start in a very interesting position. I'm, I must admit, I am looking forward to this campaign a hell of a lot. Not as much as the one freaking as it was announced, but you know, because this is a period of history I don't know anything about. I'm, I'm what, like wanting to learn more and more and more about it because of that. Just that very fact alone makes me want to learn more and more. Um. I'm going to use Seema Zan. Actually, no, I need him in my army. Uh, unless we can hire a... Nope, we can hire Ding. I've just realized, yeah, this, we, we essentially work near enough the same as um, uh, Yuan Shao, but we have slight differences. Now, to end out the first part, we're going to go and look at some reforms. So instead, of, like, reforms have changed. and now, like, more like the Yellow Turban reforms in the sense that we have to do research. But they're also... Um, they're also very... They, they're essentially just like the other turban uh, stuff. So right now we have military provisioning, which gives us... Uh, which is... Uh, gives us, obviously, military forge and other... And uh, military supplies and so on and so forth. Military housing, which is pl minus 10 re uh, redeployment cost, minus 10% recruitment cost. Gives us access to axe band, peasant band, and archers. And also gives us... Unlocks the building training camp. We've got Scorched Earth, which is plus 10% income from looting settlements, plus 10% post-battle loot income. Mounted Archers, Spear Warriors, and Saber Cav become unlocked through that. We've got um, the Key Accommodation, uh, yeah, accommodation, which gives plus 2 covert costs for enemy spies, plus 2 undercover network costs for enemy spies. We've got the Dakin Emissaries, plus 20% trade influence, plus 1 trade available trade agreement. Uh, Quire Ren Workforce, minus 5% construction cost, minus 1 construction. Uh, industrial Tool de a Depot and Arzen Tool Depot, you know, more buildings to build. Uh, we've got the Buddha Buddhist, or Buddhist, yeah, Buddhist, uh, Selflessness, I think that's Buddhist, Selflessness, plus 5 satisfaction for our officers, plus 2,000 population growth, economic buildings, constr and, uh, building construction, cadastre reduction, and then uh, salt and jade mine rel relate related, uh, relative stuff. Towers Rituals, minus 20% of a character salary. Uh, learning and market buildings cost 10% less. And we get access to Silk Road and Spice Route. Now, I personally, I'm thinking of going for my trade early on. And I'm thinking I'm going to use that as a way to build our economy up as we slowly but surely expand into the other seamers and into this uh, woman over here, Suo Yingmang. Um, I also intend to use uh, our... Uh, 
pretty hefty coin purse that in I like to get Simazan in our uh, army. And then use him to... I'm going to recruit him right now because I, I need someone with my archers. There's also now mounted crossbowmen, which seems pretty cool. Uh, but let's have a, see if I can see, have a look at our men. There's, there's key crossbowmen. Rear line, good against melee. They have 250 range, 45, uh, 20 rounds. So they have more rounds than normal. Uh, they have decent armor. Um, de crappy de de Not good normal damage, but good range. Uh, like uh, good uh, armor piercing damage. Heavy armor, and they are slow in comparison to normal archers. But of course, you've got to remember that they have extra unit, extra stuff to them. Um, yellow dragons. We're definitely going to get some yellow dragons this playthrough because that just fits us. Defenders of Earth, and I'm guessing the good old uh, fashioned. Uh, yep, protectors of heaven are still here. Good. I intend to recruit them quite a, uh, quite a few of them. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the first part of the Simish Yon campaign. I will probably, I'm thinking maybe I might do a second one alongside this so we can have two different aspects of the game. Go like two different factions going on at once, you know, try and, you know, play different ones, play them differently and uh, so on and so forth. But I hope you guys have at least enjoyed the first part. I hope you guys continue to enjoy the uh, campaign. So uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say and I'll see you guys in part two.